Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Today we are going to explore a delicious yet simple Chinese dish, sweet and sour ribs, known in Chinese as Tang Cu Pai Gu. The magic of this dish lies in the perfect balance of sweet, sour, and aromatic flavors, creating a harmonious and satisfying taste experience, along with the crispy and tender texture of the ribs. While this dish traditionally uses pork ribs, today we will be using beef ribs with the same process, but with a longer cooking time compared to pork ribs. I'm sure you will love it. As is common in many Chinese meat dishes, the first step involves blanching the ribs. This helps remove impurities and blood. Place the cut beef ribs into cold water, adding a touch of cooking wine. Gradually heat the water until it boils. As the water boils, you can notice form and impurities rising to the surface. Skin them off. Let it continue boiling for a few minutes. Remove the ribs from the boiling water and drain. You can also rinse them with cold water. Now let's take a look at the other ingredients needed for this dish: brown sugar or any other kind, salt, vinegar. I'm using Chinese rice vinegar, but you can use apple cider or balsamic vinegar. But the taste may vary. And soy sauce. The proportion of sugar, vinegar, and soy sauce can be around three to two to one. But may vary based on personal preferences. You will also need a star anise, cinnamon, ginger, and a leek to add aromas to the ribs. Finally, a bit of cooking wine and a sesame. Mix the vinegar, sugar, salt, and soy sauce together to create a sauce. Next, let's fry the ribs to achieve a crispy texture. Heat vegetable oil in a pan over medium high heat. Slowly frying the ribs. After three to five minutes, add the spices and fry for an additional two minutes. Add the ginger and the leek, continuing to fry until golden brown. Pour the sweet and sour sauce over the ribs, stirring well until the ribs are well coated. Add hot water to cover the ribs, along with the cooking wine. Reduce the heat to medium low and let it simmer for about one to one and a half hours until tender. If you want to accelerate the process, you can use a pressure cooker for about forty minutes. For pork ribs, simmering for around 30 minutes should be good. If the water reduces too quickly, add more hot water during the cooking process. Once the ribs start to tenderize, increase the heat to medium high to reduce the sauce. Remove the spices. When the sauce thickens, turn off the heat. And add some sesame. This delightful dish is now ready to be served. The vibrant colors, glossy sauce, and the crispy yet tender texture of the ribs, especially the perfect combination of sweet, sour, and aromatic flavors, create a harmonious and satisfying culinary experience. Hope you enjoy this video and see you on our next culinary journey. Thank you.